You know, I never thought I'd be putting a diesel engine in a Harley Davidson in the name of solving an environmental problem and riding this thing down the west coast. But that's exactly what I've done. I've been building this thing every single week for over a year. And this all started between the ages of 13 and 16 when I started building electric skateboards just for the fun of it. Well, then I found out that the lithium ion cells that were powering my electric skateboard and Tesla's had cobalt in them that were mined by children, women and men, seven of whom are dying in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Now, what if instead of all of that, we could run the power horses that run our planet, the tractors and the trucks on a fuel that comes from restaurants around the corner from your house? What if university campus fleets could run on fuel that comes from their own cafeterias? Well, this summer, I'm riding 1,200 miles from here in Vancouver all the way to Los Angeles, California, stopping at seven major universities like Stanford and Berkeley to prove that clean fuels are viable today. Biodiesel reduces CO2 by 74% on an existing asset base, on trucks that are around. Now I've put everything I can into this project. I have welding marks on my hands from burns from welding the motor mount together. But I need your help. I need your help for accommodation, for a follow vehicle, for a videographer so I can spread this message beyond the pop-ups that I'm gonna be doing at these universities. We have support from my university, UBC, and from Kubota. We're 90% there, but I need your help to bring this thing across the finish line. If you can't help, it would mean the world if you could just introduce me to one other person that would want to be part of this mission. I'd like to thank everyone who has helped me so far in this project. And together, let's create a clean fuel tomorrow. Thanks for watching.